from what I saw at this place where I'm standing at, there were trucks which were taking some trees that possibly might have gotten uprooted because of the implosion. Of course, we'd have to be ready for all those damages because of this planned demolition. Well, yes, such things do happen. And after such a major operation, well, it was best avoided. It is just too bad that I think even if there were a couple of trees or more trees that have uprooted, I think we'd be getting off rather too, uh, too cheaply also. I do hope it is not more than that. But yes, let us see if the trees can be transplanted back or what can be done to restore the greenery. But the damage has to be assessed now. I believe the process has begun. I am given to understand the process of assessment has begun. It may take a little while, maybe 24 hours, to assess what damage to the structures, to the foundation, to the electrical installations, to the gas supply, and other infrastructure may have been caused. And what may have happened inside also due to the vibrations, because the strong vibrations also have, have a knack of impacting negatively the electrical installations and other structural and bringing about something that is known as bringing causing damage to the structural uh, foundations starting from the foundation right up to the ceiling that have to be assessed and the structural engineers are the best people to understand and estimate whether any damage has been done to the structure electrical installations the fire service capacity of the buildings they all have to be re-audited and reassessed right Mr. Singh, uh, you know, I, I'd, uh, you know, let our viewers see what is happening at the moment. And Mr. Kumar, I'll come to you then. Uh, we just saw another round of these water tankers sprinkling water further at this flyover. Because, you know, normally we can just say vaguely that there is no air pollution in this particular spot. But we do not know what is the impact. You know, we cannot tell unless and until you know, there is some sort of a uh, reader over here which can actually talk about the deterioration in the air quality. And to ascertain all of that and to figure that there is no further damage when it comes to the AQI, at least in this area, which is about three to 400 meters away from where the demolition took place, these water tankers continue to do their job. They're sprinkling water over here, even at this place. Remember, we are far away from the demolition area the smoke has not come to this side. All right, I'll, I'll come to you, Mr. Kumar. Alok Singh, uh, Noida Police Commissioner, is again joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for being a part of this discussion. Very important implosion that has taken place as per the Supreme Court order. Has it gone as planned, sir? Yes, it's uh, a complete execution as per the plans. We have been planning it for last a uh, couple of months, a uh, lot of uh, team effort had gone into it. Uh, various experts were uh, roped in, and uh, today, finally, it uh, went as per the copybook. Uh, also, sir, we are being told that uh, the boundary wall of the ATS Green Society might have gotten hit. There might have been a damage. Do we have a word on that, sir? The, the export teams, the engineering teams, they are still on the spot. They are assessing it. Yes, it seems that there was some breach of the of the parameter of the ABS. Um, uh, that's what the initial information is. But uh, the extent of the damage is still being assessed. But that's only on the parameter boundary. And the way the things are standing at the moment, sir, how soon can people begin to return to their houses? The, the cleansing process is on. The Noida Authority has deployed the uh, multi mm, teams uh, who are working at cleaning, uh, restoring, uh, uh, when, uh, hello, restoring many connections. And reconnect with more people from the authority to actually give us a sense of what could be the after effect of this implosion. I'll go back to my guests who continue to be with me. Uh, Mr. Kumar, I'll come back to you now. Uh, we just heard the Noida Police Commissioner. Uh, he is saying that the demolition has gone on as planned. Uh, so this is a sense of respite that we might get. And also this eventually would lead to all the residents to come back to their houses in due time. Yes, uh, Mr. Alok said explosion has gone as per the plan. I, I think looking at All the right, image... Before I do that, let me quickly mm -hmm. cut across Chetan Datta's reaction. He is, remember, the person who pressed the blaster button. Let's quickly listen into that.
बिल्कुल बटन दबाने के सेकंड बाद में खड़ा हो गया देखो मैं देख रहा हूँ तो बिल्डिंग नहीं दूसरी दूंगा था अच्छा कितनी दूरी पर थे वहाँ से दस सेवेंटी मीटर अच्छा सत्तर मीटर की दूरी पर सबको ढाई सौ मीटर दूर रखा गया मतलब बड़ी हिम्मत चाहिए थी सत्तर मीटर दूर रहने के लिए नहीं वी आर वेरी ऑफन वी आर यूज टू इट अच्छा सर एक बार नाम बता दीजिए हाँ भाई सर चेतन दत्ता अच्छा अच्छा आप ही पर सबसे बड़ी जिम्मेदारी थी शायद अच्छा जिम्मेदारी को पूरा किया कितनी देर लगी सर जैसे कह रहे थे नौ से बारह मिनट द सेम टाइम नौ एज सेकंड में बिल्डिंग पूरी क्रैश करेगी अच्छा नौ सेकंड में मतलब अब लग रहा है कि जो जो सोचा था वो कर पा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल जो हमारी प्रोडिक्शन थी हंड्रेड परसेंट सक्सेसफुल हुई है और हंड्रेड परसेंट पास हुई है अच्छा जैसे कहते हैं ना कि पूरी टीम का वर्क होता है तो पूरी टीम बधाई की बात है क्या कर दिखाया सर बिल्कुल पूरी टीम बधाई की बात रहा और जब ब्लास्ट होने के बाद हम पांचों अंदर गए और हम लोगों ने बिल्डिंग को अच्छी तरह इंस्पेक्ट किया उसके जस्ट पांच मिनट बाद हम लोग रो रहे थे और सर कितने लोग थे कितने कितने लोग लोग मैडम टोटल दस लड़के मेरी टीम में थे और सात फॉरन एक्सपर्ट थे हमारे और बीस से पच्चीस की एजुकेशन इंजीनियरिंग की टीम थी सर जैसे आपने एक्सपीरियंस बताया आप इतने कितने दूर थे मतलब मैडम सिर्फ सत्तर मीटर दूर थे इस ब्लास्ट से जी और जो प्रोसीजर जो हुआ जब बटन दबाया क्या थी सर फीलिंग क्या थी उस समय आधे घंटे पहले जब सारन खुश दबा दिया गया बजा दिया गया आधे घंटे पहले हम पांचों आपस में एक दूसरे से कोई बात नहीं कर रहे थे सिर्फ दूसरे का चेहरा देख रहे थे और जैसे ही बटन दबा बटन दबने के इमीजिएट बाद जब मैंने खड़े होकर बिल्डिंग की तरफ देखा तो सिर्फ वहाँ धूल का गुबार था और कुछ चिंताएं थी और उन चिंताओं को देखते हुए हम लोगों ने धूल को सटर होने की वेट नहीं की जब से मास्क निकाले एंड सब भागते हुए बिल्डिंग की तरफ गए और हमारा पहला कंसर्न एमरॉल कोड था उसको चेक किया कम्प्लीटली सेफ एक ए की तरफ हल्का सा एक जो कंपाउंड वॉल है उस पर थोड़ा सा पत्थर गिरा है जिसकी वजह से तीन या चार मीटर कंपाउंड वॉल टूटी है एंड एवरीथिंग इज सेफ एज पर प्लान माइक सर चेतन दत्ता आई वॉज इंडियन ब्लास्टर थैंक यू सो मच ओके सो व्यूअर्स यू वर लिस्निंग टू चेतन दत्ता हु इज द इंडियन ब्लास्टर ही इज द सेम पर्सन हु प्रेस द ग्रीन बटन आफ्टर विच दी uh you know the explosion took place as per the plan this uh, this is something which is being said by the officials but as of now if we talk about the officials who all are on the ground you know we can assure you that all the senior officials concerned uh, authorities they are currently stationed at the blast site they are actually ascertaining as to what are the implication what are the after effects of the implosion so noida uh, police commissioner alok kumar he is already here on the ground zero in fact since morning he had actually uh, taken over the command center sorry san nahi hua sirf jo ats society jo sath mein lagi hui hai uski 10 meter jo boundary wall hai us pe jo waste hai sorry debris hai wo hit kiya hai to wo thodi si 10 meters mein damage hui hai that's it thank you so much thank you Okay, so 10 meter boundary wall has been hit by the debris, which has uh, now been, you know, uh, this is being said by the Ritu Maheshwari, who is the CEO of Noida Authority. So all the officials we were mentioning you viewers earlier as well that all the senior officials are here on the ground zero at the blast site. Noida Police Commissioner Alok Kumar Singh, he is already here since morning. He is closely monitoring the situation. Along with him is Noida. Uh, DM Sohas Elwa. He is also closely observing the situation as to what are the things which are unfolding minute by minute. If we talk about the ground situation, still there are many of the people, many of the spectators who are present here. There are residents of the nearby places. They have come here. In fact, some of the people have also come here. Viewers from uh, the national capital as well, from the neighboring city as well, Delhi. They have come all the way at the ground zero to watch that particular second. that how the building has been demolished also we can see many of the workers of the, the noida authority they have already started working uh, these are the workers who are deployed on the ground zero you know, there is barricading still uh, you know in the nearby places of the twin tower also the paramilitary forces along with the noida police persons they are still on the alert mode they are uh, checking as to what are the damages if any uh, being reported 